Hollywood and the entertainment industry are about to encounter even more problems than they bargained for. Not just here in the States, but also in the Middle Kingdom. Ultimately, we're the ones that'll pay the price. Ladies and gentlemen, hiss and foes, welcome to the Culture Casino! The Chinese market is huge, and when I say huge, I mean it. They have over 70,000 screens in the Middle Kingdom to display or exhibit films. With that being said, and with the Cannes virtual event coming to a close, the Chinese investors, co-distributors, and financiers are sitting on the sidelines. When the new films that are scheduled to release in July are Mulan and Tenant, you expect a giant box office number. Mulan will likely be disappointing here in the United States as the story is not a shot-for-shot -shot recreation of the animated favorite. And at the same time, Tenant, which will be a decent hit here in the United States, will likely not enjoy the same kind of box office numbers in China as you would hope, largely because of prejudice there. But when the largest exhibitor, the Wanda Film Holding Corporation, is seeking $300 million in bonds, you know that the industry in China is in trouble. Of course, recently we were made aware that China is in a recession, and that actually is to be expected based on the fact that they've had a huge economic impact from the current global crisis that we are dealing with. In fact, here in the States, we possibly could end up in the same position. Now, none of this means very much if Hollywood continues to go along with business as usual. They will be writing themselves their own death certificate as their appeal to the mainstream audience has virtually gone away. And that is the largest factor that Hollywood has to deal with, is a lack or a loss of audience. So, could that mean something positive for us? Maybe Hollywood should be making popcorn films and films that appeal to a broad audience that are not lecture-driven or lesson-driven or lecturing. Will that happen? We can only hope. Going into the election cycle, as we are, I honestly don't know what to expect. I do know that they also have another problem, and that is broadband providers such as Charter Cable, or whatever they're calling themselves now, are in a position where they want to seek interconnection deals or agreements with the large VOD streaming services. Why do they want to do this? Because they want more money. They will be charging the streaming services for the ability to carry their programming or their service on their broadband. That's very anti-consumer if you think about it because the streaming services will charge you more because they have to pay more. They will just pass this cost on to consumers. At the same time, Charter is now in a position where they want to sunset their restriction of charging confiscatory bandwidth penalties or the exceeding of a data cap along to consumers as well. In fact, one of the reasons that consumers cut the cord from cable companies and satellite providers was to reduce their costs and to get their entertainment delivered digital digitally. All of those costs will be recouped by these broadband companies now. So ultimately, when it's all said and done, if Charter Cable and similar broadband services have their way, you'll be paying as much or possibly more for your entertainment in the near future. Right now, Charter 
has a petition in with the FCC. And the FCC has made a open forum for the public to respond. If I were a charter cable or whatever they're calling themselves customer, I think I would be voicing my opinion on this matter. Regardless, just be prepared. Hollywood is in a position, and the entertainment industry as a whole, to look for a way to make more money. The question is, will that mean better entertainment? Or will it mean an increase in the service costs for acquiring entertainment? Or both? Who knows? Anyway, uh, that's today's stories. I just thought I would bring them to the forefront, as largely a lot of the business stuff gets ignored. Uh, feel free to leave comments below. Um, if you uh, liked the video, hit like. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. I always appreciate that. I appreciate your time today. Uh, go out and make an effort to support other small independent creators as YouTube largely ignores the smaller channels. And finally, take care of yourself. Take care of others. Wash your hands. And until next time, bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.